Big Fat Man Scoop, Brooklyn Clan. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you're watching the Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. He taught me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you gotta do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there. And I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. Fat Man Scoop, Big Brando. Let's go. Setting everybody, boy Big Brando, and today let's talk about design size. Now, this is something that everybody always wants to know. People always ask me the question of what's the best size design for over the heart print? What's the best size design for chest or back? What size designs are you doing? What size should my designs be? Now, these questions are very subjective because it's just based on whatever you feel looks good to yourself. Today I'm gonna to go through a few of my designs to show you what the actual measurements are if you wanted to use those same dimensions. But I do wanna show you guys what it would be like if you went based off of those same dimensions and those designs were not exactly the same as my designs. Because sometimes text could be very small, sometimes it could be a circle design or a triangle or a square or whatever it is. So whenever you do designs, you want to make sure that you're designing based on what visually looks good to you. Don't go based off of some set design because most of the time it's not going to look right or you're going to keep yourself limited to those exact dimensions and something might not look visually appealing after it's done. All right. So we're going to go through some of my t-shirts right now to show you what the design size is. We'll pull up a ruler to it so you guys have all of the information needed because that's a common question is, hey, what size is that back design? Hey, what size is that front design? I'm going to show you guys in video and I'll show you guys exactly what the dimensions are. So here we go. First off is this design right here. You guys all seen the brass knuckle design complaint department. This is a left chest print. So there's the ruler. It's about three and a half wide by three and a half tall. Three and a half by three and a half for this design right here. This is a left chest print and this is three and a half by three and a half. Now here's another design that you guys see all the time. And this one is shoe to shoe, four inches by four and a half. So this is four across by four and a half tall. Once again, left chest print. Now, if we went based off of just set dimension size, those are two different sizes right there, right? One of them was three and a half. The other one was four by four and a half. If we limited ourselves to a set number, then we would be designing these things exactly the same. All I did was visually what looks best to me. For example, this one right here is a little bit taller, right? Because there's not that much going on up here, but you could see at the top of the LA, it's a little bit skinnier and then it gets wider at the bottom. So having this as a taller design makes more sense than having it shorter and then having the feet as wide. So visually, this looks better as a taller design, as in four and a half inches tall. But if we did this three and a half by three and a half as a perfect square, this wouldn't look proportionally right because like I said, this is a lot taller and a lot skinnier up top. It's not necessarily a circle. It's not necessarily a square. It looks better as a stretched out or taller design. This one on the other hand, is pretty much filled up, right? So three and a half by three and a half makes more sense if this was a square or circle. It makes more sense as three and a half by three and a half. If we did this four and a half tall by three and a half wide, then it would look a lot stretched out and not as good because this is not a tall design. Hopefully this makes sense to somebody out there. So when you're talking about design size, there's no set design. Go based off of what looks best to you. Take some tape, put it on a shirt, measure one of your old shirts that you bought from somewhere else, see if those dimensions look good to you, then design to those dimensions. Not everything is based on a set design size. Everything is subjective. Everything is based off of visually what looks good to you. That's how I do things. Now let's go based off of the back design. You guys see this back print all the time. This one right here is 12 inches across. So 12 inches across by five inches in height. So five inches by 12 across. This is the back design right here. Now let's check out this one right here. This is another back design. This one is 11 inches across by six inches. 
So 11 by six, that's from the bottom of the brass knuckles to the top of the, the 11 inches across, six inches in height, 12 inches across by five inches in height, 12 across, five inches in height. Once again, these right here are not set dimensions. These are just based off of what looks visually good to me. Can this one have been shrunken down to be 11 inches? Yeah, it could have. Could this one have been stretched out to 12 inches and add an extra inch to it? Yeah, it could have. Visually, I just go based off of what I think looks good. A lot of times people think when they do back prints, they have to go all the way shoulder to shoulder. Not necessarily the case. You gotta remember that the shoulders round off on a t-shirt. I personally like my designs to line up in between the shoulder blades. It looks best to me on t-shirts. Sometimes when you have the design going full shoulder to shoulder, Shoulder, it starts to wrap in on the shoulder blades and then it looks a little bit distorted when the person's wearing it so no matter how big the shirt is or how big the person is wearing the shirt I keep the size of the design within the shoulder blades and centered up on the t-shirt so it looks good it's not distorted and the placement looks cool another thing is people always want to put the back design right up against the collar like right at the bottom of the collar but you have to remember when the person is actually wearing the t-shirt where it's gonna land on the back. A lot of people wanna push it right up on the collar because they think that's gonna look best. It looks good when it's flat and then it looks like it's too low when it's flat. But when this is actually worn by somebody, this will fall right underneath their neckline and right in between their shoulder blades. So that's why I make my designs on the back usually 12 inches smaller sometimes I go to 13 but rarely do I go to full 15 inches wide rarely do I go to a full 14 inches wide because I like the design to land in the middle of the shoulder blades and right below the neckline so once again 11 inches across 6 inches tall 12 inches across 5 inches tall now let's talk about front designs this one right here 10 inches across by four and a half tall this is a standard chest print right center of the chest doesn't have to be full 15 inch wide my press is 15 inches but the design doesn't have to go all the way across because if we're doing 15 inches across here's my regular t-shirt that i'm wearing now this is 15 inches where this finger right here is potentially could land into the armpit see how my arm just folds down that would land into the armpit so I rarely go bigger than 12 inches across, sometimes 13, but most of the time it's 12 inches across or smaller. Once again, we're going based off of what visually looks good to you. So here it is again, front center of the chest print. This one right here is sized up to 10 by four and a half. 10 by four and a half, lands cool in the center of the chest, not too big, not too small, still gets the point across. Now, if we went based off of those and I said, all right, every chest print has to be 10 inches across by four and a half, wrong. Here's another one right here. This is more of a circle design. And this is about like a six inch circle all the way around. Maybe a little bit longer because of the text that falls outside of the circle, but the circle is six inches. And once again, this lands cool in the middle of the chest, right? This six inch design, people think you gotta go big because bigger's better, not necessarily. This right here, proportionately, looks cool. If I made this bigger, it might be a little bit too much. This right here is the perfect size for myself. Visually, this is what I was going for. Six inches by six inches, roughly, and it lands in the center of the chest perfectly. Four fingers down from the collar is where the design gets laid down. You see when I press shirts, I always do four fingers down. Four fingers down will make it land perfectly every single time. I don't push it too high to the collar. I go four fingers down, which is about three, three and a half inches, and then I lay the transfer down. So like I said, this one right here, six inch circle. The other one was four and a half by 10 inches. There's no set design size for anything because all designs are gonna be different. Some are long, some are circle, some are square, some are tall. Go based off of what visually looks good to you. You do not have to go based off of set numbers and say, all right, I have to design to this because that's what he did or that's what this person on YouTube told me. Don't go based off that. Go based off of what looks good to you and your design. Like I said, all designs are a lot different. Some could just be text straight across. Some could be in this circle pattern like this. Some could be a square, triangle. Maybe it might just be really long on the t-shirt. Who knows? But if you set limitations for yourself, you're doing it all wrong. Creatively have the freedom of designing whatever size you think looks good to you. Do not let somebody else tell you what your creative limitations are. All right, hopefully 
this helps somebody out out there. I know a lot of people are still gonna be confused on, hey, what size design should I do? Or he only showed a six inch circle, so everything has to be a six inch circle too. Or he did 12 inches across on the back, all my designs have to be 12 inches across the back. No, it doesn't. Do what looks best to you. All right, if you guys got any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, BigBrandoTV. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Yep. Yeah.